Good, good evening. My name is Manuela, and today I want you guys to reflect about some things. Well, have you ever defined whether your day was good or not? Uh, sorry. Have you ever defined whether your day was good or not for how productive you were? I already felt frustrated, thought you were wasting your time or compared yourself to others and felt lazy or useless just for not being productive on a certain day? Thank you. Well, but what exactly is for you productivity? Well, according to Cambridge Dictionary, productivity is the rate at which a person, country or company does a useful work. Thus, in this capitalized word in which we live, many end up thinking that time is money, and therefore, we should spend this time on different productive tasks. Well, I spend a lot of time measuring my day and being happy and satisfied with myself by the amount of things I could do, thinking that the more I did, the more hap the happier I was. Well, for example, if I could do everything I programmed to, on a certain day, I would be pleased. However, in those days when I was tired or had other appointments and didn't do much, I heard other people telling me what they did and felt bad about it. Well, after much outside help, I understood that these thoughts weren't doing me good and that I was living in a culture of an unsustainable productivity since it's impossible to spend 100% of our time on productive tasks. Well, of course it is important to do what we have to try to fulfill them, but when it becomes a measure of happiness and success affecting the way you see yourself and your mood, it becomes a really bad thing. I don't know if it is known to you, but there is an increasing pressure to spend our free time on different productive tasks. For example, during quarantine, it was common to come across news telling us what to do, not to stand still, or how to be more productive, even though many went on doing much more things than they already did on the normal times. Well, the big problem with this is that even though many of us try, we are robots. So, well, of course, we should do what we have to, but we should have a time to rest or just, I don't know, just lay and do nothing. Well, according to Katie Driver, member of Life Code Directory, when we stop working, our brains are released to imagine new possibilities, do all the amazing things we are capable of, to, re to reflect, consolidate, and more o other things. Well, so after understanding what was happening to me, I tried to change what, what I was living. So yes, it is possible. It is totally possible because I could do this. Well, first of all, I found that I had to change my meaning of productivity. Thinking about it, not as the amount of things I could do, but to do my best in order to do a good job. In addition, I understood that I had to be completely focused on what I was doing, not thinking that I should do something else or be somewhere else. Finally, I'm still understanding that the principle of life is not the amount of things we could do, but if they really means something to us, make us happy and well with ourselves. Many of us stop to actually live, to create solid bonds with each other, starting to focus just on achieving what many greed, a good position, a lot of money, and to be recognized. Well, however, what many don't understand is that happy, happiness is, can be bought with money or anything. It has been proven that more socially connected people are happier, live longer, and are more physically healthy than less connected people who end up having burnout, stress, and mental illness. 
life is too short. You know, object, money, or power can bring the same feeling as an I love you or a simple hug does. Consequently, it is not worth it working while many sleep or studying while others go to party because nothing compares to the happiness we feel when we're with friends and family, really enjoying the best life has to offer. Thank you.